if you're unfamiliar with my channel and my brand of content, throughout this video you have moments when you go, huh? You won't really understand the purpose of this message. But this message goes out to a particular audience, who I'm sure has already moved on from my channel and will no longer watch my content. And that is the people who have come to watch my content because of the Joshua Graham videos. I made over 70 videos with Joshua Graham in the title, and all of these videos were voiced by an artificial intelligence voice of uh, a character from a game known as Fallout New Vegas. That character, uh, the character in question being Joshua Graham, who is a Mormon preacher in that game, um, who gives the main character a set of life lessons uh, for him or her to follow throughout her journey uh, throughout the, you know, wasteland desert. A lot of people have found inspiration in this character because of how well it plays out a, you know, morally conflicted Christian and the voice of the character, who I believe is a voice actor whose property I've taken by making these videos, um, has a very, like, raspy voice that is simultaneously easy to listen to when giving life lessons. Uh, one of the main reasons why I started posting those videos is because they were easy to make, because my channel, Jacob's Archive, um, was my second channel, focused mostly on AI voices, and that's consisted the majority of what I uploaded at that time, but I found that there is a set among my more precious viewers who came here for self-improvement content, which I went on YouTube and platforms like Rumble to make, um, who didn't like the AI voices. And I simultaneously found that those people who get attached to the character don't really consider the fact that everything read by the character was something written by me. They were all my essays, they were all my books, and I was not the one narrating them and felt kind of fake. I no longer make those types of videos because I believe if you're the type of person who goes online and listens to a fictional character from a video game to get life advice, you're probably already too far-fetched from my message, my real message, that which I come onto the internet to spread, in addition to my real life, which I have, um, will not reach you. You're, like, far beyond saving if all you do is you just watch, like, artificial intelligent voices of video game characters to get your morality from. Um, your attention span is already screwed. And I've had many comments uh, on my newer videos, those which I uploaded after this over 70 Joshua Graham videos, um, saying, like, uh, no Joshua Graham, unsubscribe, um, where the Joshua Graham, I'm not making them. And the thing is, these people come and give me suggestions for videos that I've already made using the voice, which gives me more and more inclination to take the over 70 Joshua Graham videos down. For now, I put them in a playlist, so whoever wants to see them can view them. Uh, there's also the argument that it earns me a lot of money from watch time, and I want money. People say I'm selfish for putting ads in the video. I've had a couple of people flame me and tell me to get a job. Uh, this is my job. I really have to make creative content um, to earn a living. And simultaneously, I also want to spread a good message. Um, now that the video, you know, jo the Joshua Graham trend has fallen off and those videos don't do as well. Um, number one, there's no point in making them for the remain remaining audience. Um, so it's not going to get me any money, and it most definitely isn't going to spread my message the way I want it to spread. So I'm sorry if you don't uh, want a 19-year-old writer talking to you and giving you life advice, um, but that's me. And no matter how many face filters or AI voice generators I put it through, it's always going to be the same thing at its core. So I've uh, done the courtesy of sharing my real voice, sharing my real face, and an attempt to get the message out there attaching it to my personal life experiencing experiences, posting those online in order for you to get a, a more realistic view of what life is like and how you should lead yours. Uh, if you're upset by that, I'm very sorry, but um, in the nicest way possible, um, you should probably seek some guidance that isn't artificial. Uh, because right now, you know, you're Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, listening to the snake. The snake's not real. The snake's not real. It's Satan in disguise. You can't be listening to snakes online. You have to find something that's real, tangible, not artificial, not fake. Probably one of the most important lessons that you can learn in life. 
one of the most important that I've learned so far. Peace.